Bro, he literally looks like my nutsack. Tell me this fucker doesn't look like my nutsack. Look at his nose. Reapers, what's his good? It's your boy Laser. Using the visor back with another reaction video. He's on the reaction content. 16 do it for you guys. He's reacting to five rarest to most mysterious animals on the planet. Guys, there's so many weird animals that we don't even fucking know what they are. Or did I say eight? You know what? If you guys enjoy the reaction content, we'll reaction videos like this in the future. It's at least the like button. You subscribe, click the notification bell, like your brush from every night. Your questions are fucking amazing. Let's dive straight into this video. There are many mm. categories of animal that roam around this planet. The ones that are thriving in the millions, the ones that have gone extinct, and the ones that are sadly endangered. But amongst this is a category that researchers- It's crazy how they talked about how they wanted to bring the woolly mammoth for like a whole decade now and they haven't done it yet. <laughs> ...not know a whole lot about. Now, this is partly due to the fact that many of these are very rarely seen and in turn hard to study. So all we have to base our research on is eyewitness reports, tales, and the occasional piece of footage. So from the handful of sightings of an extremely rare 500 million year old sea creature, to the African tribe reports of supposed real life dinosaurs. Are dinosaurs still alive? I mean, technically dinosaurs are still alive. Alligators are not alligators. Crocodiles are literally al uh, crocodiles are literally dinosaurs. They're they're basically dinosaurs when you think about it. Like dinosaurs are still alive today. They're just not the ones we know of. You know what I mean? Here are five incredibly rare and mysterious animals. Not like the giant planet. ones. You know what I mean? Technically, they're still alive. Black panthers of the UK. When it comes to ferocious wild animals, the UK Black is Panther. not the most likely place to find them, as the wolves and bears were hunted to extinction many years ago. Imagine hunting However, in recent bro. years, there and have wolves. been thousands of big cat sightings all oh, around the British countryside, pie. and these are taken very seriously by the- Is his name a, a cupcake? He looks like a little cute kitten. I'm sure when I pet him, he's gonna go like, meow, and he's not gonna go like, meow. <laughs> the authorities. Take the Beast of Bodmin, for example, the long-sighted and rumoured panther-type cat that's led to the government sending Royal Marine snipers to search for it in 1983. Ooh. But although the Beast of Bodmin is very well known, there are many more other sighting of big cats in Britain that suggest some kind of cat species does roam around. And not just word of mouth, but videos and photographs. Look at this cutie pie Take this link that was shot in 1991 after killing 15 sheep in Suffolk. Oh no. And this photograph that was taken in Cambridgeshire where many sightings have been made over the years of big cats mutilating livestock. And this paw print was also found by Welsh farmer John Matthias after he saw a big cat walking with a lamb in its mouth. But this is probably the most famous supposed big cat video that was taken by an off-duty police officer in 2009. Whoa, look at that cutie pie, bro. Look at that cute kitty. Look at the cute cat. Then there are the physical attacks, like the 11-year-old boy from Monmouthshire who was left with slashes across his face in Why does he have... Did the panther attack him? Prison, ...after he claimed to have been attacked by something large, black, and slinky looking. Throw in all the eaten animal carcasses with large teeth marks, and the thoughts that panthers or... But I've seen videos of people like actually owning these motherfuckers, like... What the hell are you doing with your life? Just owning one of... I'm kidding, like... There's nothing wrong with owning exotic animals if they're trained and shit, but damn, like, imagine owning, like, this big fucker right here. Imagine owning this sucker. Any other big cat roams around the UK is not impossible to believe. But how can we differentiate regular large house cats with exotic big cats? Well, there has been several DNA tests, one of which was taken on a hair sample from an animal attack in 2011, and the hair was confirmed to be that of a leopard. But where have they all come from, and where are they hiding? Well, in 1976, the UK implemented the Dangerous Wild Animal Act, meaning it was illegal for anyone to keep wild or exotic animals in their homes. This resulted in many of the panthers and lions being set free, as their owners could not bear to have them put down or kept in zoos. In fact, this was confirmed in 1980, when a puma was caught in Scotland that was thought to have been a released pet that had survived in the wild. This alone is the reason for many of the sightings in that period after the act was put in place. But are the big cats still surviving to this day and living around the UK? You what tell you me, think? man. You tell me. The Yeti. The Yeti, bro, so I always tell you the Yeti is just a snow version of Bigfoot. Like, pretty much it's just a snow version of Bigfoot. Always of the Yeti, or the Abominable Snowman as it's often called, Do I think called, it's real? I don't know. ...have been a big part of Himalayan folklore for hundreds of years. I don't think years. so. Then, following the 1952 photographs taken at the base of Mount Everest by climber Eric Shipton, Showing what many believe was the Yeti footprint, the whole world became interested in the possible existence of the- Mount Everest, like, I don't- 
is there animals that go in Mount Everest? I don't think so. So it must have been, it could have been like the Yeti. I just know, bro, Mount Everest is like, I don't understand why people do that shit. Like, it's literally a suicide mission. People, like, literally actually try to climb that shit. And, like, they're just going in for a death mission. They're not going to make it. I know some people do make it, but most people end up dying. This mysterious Bigfoot-like creature. Since I don't then, know how it works sightings nowadays. by reliable people, usually respected mountaineers, claiming to have sighted the beast. Like Don Willans, who said he had an encounter with a yeti in 1970 in Annapurna when he saw a few human-like footprints in the snow and later that night watched an ape-like creature search for food not far from his camp. Ooh. Although, apart from the many sightings and encounters, has there ever been any definitive proof of the Yeti's existence? Look at that kitty pie. Well, in 2013, a leading British genetics professor, Brian Sykes, conducted a study using advanced DNA techniques on hair samples found from two unknown animals. One was discovered in the Western Himalayas, and what the is other that? 800 miles east in Bhutan. Is that, a, is that a Yeti testicle? What is that? Remarkably, he found a 100% match with a 40,000-year-old jawbone of an ancient polar bear that was found in Norway. I thought there was a Yeti now, testicle. Now, although this does not prove the Yeti as we picture them are real, what it could suggest in Professor Sykes' eyes is that the creature many have spotted, and the unidentified animal linked to the footprints around the Himalayan area, could well be a cross between an ancient polar bear and a brown bear. Someone who has backed this theory for a while is mountaineer Reinald Messner, who was the first man to climb Everest without oxygen, he and died. who claims to have had an encounter with a mysterious beast in Tibet. In and then he magically disappeared. Since the encounter, Messner has extensively researched the Yeti, and during this time, he found a 300-year-old Tibetan manuscript describing a creature called a Kimo, which is another name for a Yeti, and its description matched that of the many reports of the Himalayan beast. Ooh. So maybe the Yeti isn't so unbelievable after all, and could be one of the many undiscovered Maybe the Yeti is real. I think big, maybe Bigfoot's fake, but the Yeti is actually real, you know what I mean? Creatures that we have yet to fully identify. But that is, like, I don't... What do you think? I feel like, what if, the, what if the Yeti is Bigfoot? Like, what if the Yeti just, like, like Bigfoot, like, changes his fur color, you know what I mean? I don't know. The Norwegian... What the fuck color. is that? A troll is a human-like creature. Oh, is that fucker from Hogwarts? That you actually live. Oh, look at his eyes. He looks red. Did that fucker take too much uh, cocaine? I mean, weed. My bad. It's in forest caves or mountains, and can be short or extremely large. They are considered dangerous to humans and turn to stone if sunlight hits them. That is the traditional description of a folklore troll, and the tales of them go back many years, originating in Scandinavia and Norway, who very much keep this tradition alive even to this day. It sounds insane, but like most folklore, could there be some real life encounters that led to the adventure friendly. of mountain trolls? He looks hella friendly. The answer is... Besides that fucking knife right there. <laughs> most probably yes. Back in the day, mainly in Norway, it's Ugh, believed that look how big is... with what... Bro, he literally looks like my nutsack. Tell me this fucker doesn't look like my nutsack. Look at his nose. Imagine seeing this shit in real life. That's terrifying. They would call trolls in forests or mountains. It looks and they would be described nasty. as aggressive to humans and in general not nice people. <laughs> Some say it's entirely plausible that people who had run-ins with trolls were actually seeing nomadic natives to the forest who perhaps had never seen outsiders before. Trolls, although now considered folklore, could have some real-life truth behind their origin. They're not real, bitch. After all, there is some interesting evidence to suggest that some humans may have been much larger than today's humans and would be considered giants. So if this was the case, then are giants and small people who live in the woods or in caves, who perhaps look different and did not connect well with outsiders, no. really that hard to believe? No. It's an interesting thought. No. What's even more interesting no. is this photograph. <laughs> It was supposedly taken in December 1942 by the crew of an RAF recon flight, 300 miles north of Berg. Now, some would like to believe it's true, although it's most likely a still from a movie called Troll Hunter. But even so, I would love to believe that there are giant trolls hiding in the forests, but I can't see that happening. However, regular trolls may have existed or still do, just maybe not in the form that the movies portray them. Mmm, interesting. Number two. Alanotilus scrobiculitus. What is that? Now, there is very little to talk about this next creature because it has only been spotted a handful of times. What the fuck is Making that? it the rarest known about creature in the ocean. It's called an Alanotilus scrobiculitus, and they are a small 15 to 21 centimeter furry shelled cephalopod that's fossils were first discovered by John Lightfoot in 1776. But what's fascinating about these is they're considered as a living fossil, meaning they have pretty much stayed the same for millions of years. Wait, a living million years to be a fossil that's alive? What? Exact is what researchers have dated this Alanotilus species. 
Despite being around for this long, they were only first seen alive in 1984 and 1986 when two scientists, Dr. Bruce Saunders and Dr. Peter Ward, saw the creature in the waters just off of an island in Papua New Guinea. After their sighting, they believed the species was close to extinction. But then in 2015, Dr. Ward returned to Papua New Guinea to study this prehistoric species and found some more 600 feet down. Dr. Ward and his team managed to capture one and take samples before releasing it back where they had found it. Their studies concluded that these creatures are isolated in deep depths and are unable to survive in warmer waters. But it's not only their rarity that fascinated Dr. Ward, but also the strange hairy and slimy covering that's on its shell. To date, this species has not been seen since 2015 and will continue to be one of the rarest known about creatures in the ocean. Interesting. Number one. Living dinosaurs. The thought that dinosaurs used to roam the same planet we do is hard to visualize. Motherfuckers really want to bring these back, like Jurassic World, hello, or Jurassic Park. But they did, and millions of years later, we are still fascinated by them. But what if I said that some people believe dinosaurs were not completely wiped out, and that cryptozoologists strongly believe there are still some living in remote and unreached parts of the world, mainly deep in the vast, unexplored jungles of Central Africa? These thoughts have come about not by someone's imagination, but by the many sightings that the tribes who live in the African forests have reported. Probably the most famous of these sightings is an animal that has been named the Makele Mbembe, reported to live in the Congo River Basin. It's said to be extremely dangerous and territorial, and sightings of this semi-aquatic creature go back to the 1700s. Look how beautiful he looks. There are plenty of local eyewitnesses of this creature, and it's likened by its description. Look how cute he dinosaur. looks. Look at this cutie pie. But that isn't the only supposed dinosaur in Central Africa. The Emina Intuka is familiar to the pygmy tribes, and it's said to be an aquatic creature around the size of a rhinoceros, with some saying it's a close relation to the Triceratops. Then there is the bad temper. Imagine like this just going up your asshole, bro. Ladies first, imagine just sitting on this row by accident. But in Google, by accident, like just imagine me area of Cameroon, the described asshole as by a that. small rhinoceros with Girls horns and a crazy neck for it. that is said to be a descendant from a Ceratopsian species. All of these creatures have been described by people who live in these dense and dangerous areas of Africa, which are not the sort of places it would be safe for researchers or anyone for that matter. To Bro, I want to chill here so bad. This looks like such a nice chill spot. Bro, I want to live in a forest like this, like, an actual forest that's, like, green, you know what I mean? Like, actually has green to it. Like, this looks so... I just want to, like, take a chair, bro, and just sit right here. Imagine, bro, anyone that's gotten high in, like, a forest before, like, smoking weed in a middle of a forest, knows how crazy it is. Like, it's weird it is just to get high in, like, a forest, you know what I mean? To visit for too long. So, finding physical proof of what these people believe they have seen, for now, seems impossible. But what I find fascinating is that from the small amount of trips that have been made to these areas, the tribes who have been asked about these animals all point to dinosaurs as what they have witnessed when shown pictures. Add the fact that the tribes have absolutely nothing to gain from their believed sightings, with the search team saying they do not want money and the last thing they want is publicity, it makes you wonder why would they be lying. This by no means grants them full credibility, because to say that dinosaur descendants still roam Africa just based on eyewitness reports would be incredibly illogical. But given the fact that I can't imagine what we would find if we removed all of the water and forest from Earth, rare and undocumented animals that could have similar features to dinosaurs are really not that hard to believe. Oh. I would love to think this is all true, and that the tribes people are really seeing what they are reporting. What do you think? That's crazy, so bro. That's well guys, this is for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. Which one of those animals creeped you out the most? Personally, the Yeti did. But if you guys enjoyed the reaction content, you want to actually be these features you know what to do. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!